Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Great Lakes Breaks. Today, we've got the Boombox Elite Baseball. This is the highest tier of the Boombox. It's new. Last month was the first time they did it, and they loaded it with packs. Now, some people didn't think the value was there. Some people did think the value was there. Um, and it also depends on what you hit, obviously. Uh, but is the pack value there this month? We're going to dive in and see what the pack lineup is and what we get. Um, this is a little over $200 for the box. Uh, some people say, well, that's a hobby box right there. Very true. Uh, but what I like about this month is I believe there is a tribute pack in here. So we're going to take a look and see. All right, we've got a tribute pack. We're going to get it. Bowman first edition hobby pack and Bowman draft first edition hobby pack. Wow. Bowman Chrome 2020, Topps Finest 2020, and Topps Chrome. Uh, so there's the six packs. See if we get any more packs in here. Also a ticket promo. Usually they do just six to eight packs, but we could have more than that. We're going to see. We, we did get quite a few packs this month. Quite a few. All right. No ticket promo, but... We've got a tribute pack, and I'm excited to see what our one at least hit is. I can't get all the packing peanuts. All right, let's see what we got here. we got a lot of staples, you know. we got the Heritage. That's a staple. we got the Bowman Draft. That's a staple. Here's the Chromes and the Finest. And here's the two first edition packs along with our tribute pack. Uh, so that is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to save those for last and kind of go in that order there. So let's see what's in our 15 draft here. These draft packs can be deceiving because they're in a lot of stuff, but there's some really good prospects in here still. Guys that have performed well and then a chance at autos and refractors and all sorts of stuff. So we got Lucas Williams. Zach, these are very hard to read. Zach Irwin, Randolph, here's Jake Woodford, and Corey Taylor, first Bowman Chromes. We've got Taylor McGill and Lucas Giolito, so that's a good one. Bet you the Nationals would have liked to kept him on their roster. So, first pack, nothing too crazy, some decent prospects. All right, let's go next pack here. This is 15 draft, or sorry, 14 draft. The other one was 15. We got Raul Mondesi. There's a nice Trey Turner. Ooh, looks like we got a little blue here. Lance McCullers and a Tapia. That's just a paper. It's going to be out of 399 though. Pretty cool. We got Gabriel Guerrero, Ian Clarkin, and Aaron Brown first. So the Trey Turner was a nice one. All right, let's see what... Heritage holds for us. There's a chance at a hit. There's one hit per box. Um, you know, a chance at an auto or a relic. Doesn't look like we got a relic in here, but maybe we get a short print. Seth Lugo. Luis Arias. There's an Otani. That's just a regular. Kevin Pillar. Brad Boxberger. There's a Josh Bell and Iglesias. This Boxberger is a high number. You can see 62 right there and 46 right there. So thank you, Brad, for being a high number. All right, let's look at 2020 Chrome here. Hoping for a rookie. And more importantly, a rookie auto would be nice. Doesn't look like we got anything thick in there. But we've got a Logan Allen, a Jeff McNeil, and then a Devers. These are so nice looking. And a Lester, so not, not even a rookie in there. All right, we got about five packs to go. These last three packs could hold some huge hits. Uh, Bowman Chrome can too. Not a lot of first Bowmans in here. Uh, that's just kind of the way Bowman Chrome goes. Um, but we'll see if we can pull a nice rookie. Seth Brown. There's Ulrich Bojarski. 271 batting average. Wow. Toglia and Noah Song. See, not a lot of first Bowmans. You can get um, some refractors and stuff like that, but nothing super crazy. All right. Now, mind you, 
This costs over $200. Is the value there? So far, not seeing it. Um, I didn't subscribe to this, so this is not necessarily uh, something that I'm going to be purchasing every month. Just kind of based on the lineup. And I did like the fact that there was tribute. So, all right, we got Bobby Bradley rookie. We got an Aaron Saval rookie. We got an insert, the man, Ronald Acuna Jr. These are these are fun. There's another Acuna and a Trevor Story. Uh, looks like those are base. So a couple Acunas, some nice star cards there. But here's where the big boys hit. If you hit something huge in this, uh, you're going home. Uh, you know, you're going home lucky. But the these cards can hold a lot of value because this is the first, first Bowman for these guys. And there's a chance at autos in here. There's a chance at parallels. There's all sorts of stuff. So we got Colt Keith, Robert Hassel. Not a bad one to get. We're going to save that foil. We've got Sammy Infante. That's a good one. Vukovic. This is so nice getting all these first, first editions. Let's see if we can get Bobby Bradley O'Neill, Joe Ryan. There's an Owen Casey. It's not a bad one. Drew Romo, Robert Hassel, and Freddie Zamora. So not bad to get a first, first foil. Uh, these are not numbered, but still fun pack. And uh, I don't, I mean, these are about a $30, $40 pack themselves. So let's see what 2021 has. See if we can hit a blaze or something like that. All right. We got Garrett Mitchell, Taryn Vara. There's a Matthew Thompson. There's a nice Laura. He was the guy we were chasing in Bowman Chrome. There's Gabriel Arias, Drew Romo, who we just pulled, Trevor Lark, Eddie Diaz, a first first. That's a nice one. Kenya. And Casey Martin. So not a bad one to get. A blue foil again, but not numbered or anything. So no huge hits out of that, but let's see what Tribute brings us. Uh, there's three cards a pack. Uh, you got a 50-50 chance of getting an auto or a relic. Uh, this looks pretty thick, so it looks like it's probably going to be a relic. Uh, look at that. Big boy right there. So we shall see what is in here we got a xander bogarts and behind that is an aaron judge these cards are just so cool looking and then let's just flip it over boom look at that that is sweet mike piazza and pete alonzo out of 150 uh, so that's a cool relic um again not a will be better with some ink obviously <laughs> but that is pretty sweet here um Will it contain this card? Not from any specific game, event, or season. Yet on the front says game used. So which one do we believe? I don't know. But guys, let me know what you think. Uh, was the value there this month? Not sure. These Bowman firsts are in, are worth quite a bit. The packs are uh, just for who you can pull. And then especially if the prospects grade well, uh, you're doing well yourself. Uh, you can pull some great foils. Uh, we did pull some foils, so that's fun. Uh, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I'll be purchasing this again next month just because of the price point, but we shall see. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you guys are continuing to buy these and what you pulled in your packs because uh, everyone's getting at least one hit in tribute. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and everybody remember to have a wonderful and happy collecting. Thanks for watching.